Today's video is all about the new Polymaker Pan Chroma Filaments line and the amazing models from stlflix.com. But before showing you all this goodness, let me tell you something quick about my previous video. I originally considered using resin for the tiniest parts on my 3D Mini Cinemas. But if you don't have a resin printer like me, PCBWay is your one-stop shop. They offer a complete suite of services from high-quality resin printing and rapid prototyping to PCB fabrication and assembly. And they really helped me complete my Iron Man helmet with their PCB service. Check that out. Their solutions are reliable and affordable, making it easy for anyone to get professional results without breaking the bank. But now, let's not waste time, let's make it, let's print it, let's roll the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alessio and this is Pixel Forge Lab. Today I'm showcasing a series of 6 3D printed items that demonstrates the versatility of filament's choice and design precision. I 3D printed 2 self-watering planters, an easter egg container, a trash bin with lid and a headphone stand with a piston and skull design and a pair of chopstick ninja helpers. Each item was printed using various filaments like Polymaker Panchroma PLA in several finishes, marble, silk bronze, luminous rainbow, neon green, matte winter, metallic silver and others like Caribbean sea silk blue green, polylite silk black and gold silk PLA along with polyterra shadow red. Let's start with the self-watering planter. For this model I use Polymaker Panchroma PLA in a marble finish combined with silk bronze for accent. The marble gives a classic textual look, while the silk bronze adds a sleek modern twist. Next, I printed another self-watering planter entirely in Caribbean Sea Silk Blue-Green PLA. The result is a vibrant fluid finish that really pops. And especially on this one, I like the fact there is a little floating device that controls the level of the water, which is really, really cool. Moving on, on the Easter egg container. This one is a mix of three filaments, Panchroma Luminous Rainbow for the shifting colorful effect, Caribbean Sea Silk Blue Green to maintain consistency and Panchroma Neon Green to provide an energetic pop. Perfect to store even smaller easter eggs like chocolate or sweets, especially good for kids. Then I tackled the trash bin with the lid. The base is printed in Polymaker Panchroma Matte Winter for a sturdy textured look while the lid comes out in Polyterra Shadow Red, offering a striking contrast and secure fit. Next up is the headphone stand, designed to look like a piston with a skull. Here I used Panchroma Metallic Silver paired with Gold Silk PLA to give it an industrial yet elegant vibe. And finally, the pair of Chopstick Ninja Helpers were printed with Polylite Silk Black and Gold Silk PLA, delivering a sleek, high-contrast design that's both functional and eye-catching, especially for me that I love Asian food. And now I want to give a huge shout out to Polymaker.com. Their new Panchroma filament line has been a real game-changer for this project. I have had zero failures with these materials. The prints came out flawlessly, except for the black silk PLA used for the chopstick ninja helpers, which required some hand gluing because the parts were extremely small and a couple even broke. Polymaker's quality really elevates your print, and if you want to try it for yourself, check the affiliate link in the description down below, because everything you do helps to support my channel. All right, back to the project. I've got all my prints right here on the table. As you can see, each item showcases a unique finish and level of details. The planning and calibration really paid off, and it's fascinating to see how different filaments can change the look and performance of a design. Before wrapping this up, I also want to thank stlflix.com for providing most of the models file used for this build. The headphone stand, easter egg container, and the chopstick ninja helper came from the incredible library make sure to check out stlflix.com. The link is in the description down below for you to explore. In conclusion, this project highlights how choosing the right filament and fine-tuning your settings can transform your 3D printed creation whether you're using vibrant panchroma finishes, slick silk filaments or other special materials, each one brings something unique to your project. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this deep dive into multi-filament build, 
please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not for more creative 3D printing projects, and drop your comments or questions below. Until next time, this is Pixel Forge Lab, and as usual, I'll catch you in the next one.